guys? Good afternoon. And we are here at the former site and home for many years of the Beaver County Times. And I feel very compelled to make this video because I don't think that this building is going to be here much longer. I think it's going to be raised. I don't know when, and I, I'm not confirmed. I didn't even hear a rumor about it, but I just, I don't see what could come in here and replace anything, but let's have a look around. Look at this. Just look how vintage this is. Beaver County Times. And this building over here, I, I don't know. I'm trying to see inside. It, they've blocked up some stuff since the last time I was here and took pictures. I never did a video, but I took pictures. Uh, you can't see nothing in there. All right. Let's just go down. Yeah, this thing hasn't been run for a while. Doesn't even have a license plate on it. For those of you who have moved away and don't know it, the Beaver County Times relocated to the Hopewell Industrial Park in Aliquippa. I think this building was built in 1964. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Can you see in there? Uh, I don't think so. Look at that. Look how old that is. <laughs> Look at that. The windows are cracking. I don't know if I can get in there to see anything or not. No, not really. There's nothing to see anyway. SWC Realty. I even got a website. Huh. This building's in lousy condition. It's like they never did anything to this place in the whole entire time they occupied it. It never had a facelift. You can tell. Everything's original. Even that nasty-ass shutter. It's all locked up solid. You can't even look inside, which is kind of disheartening because I wanted to show you some stuff, but I don't know if I'll... I might go around the building see if I can get through on that side, but... Nothing here. It's up for sale. Commonwealth Real Estate. There's workers on the side. I don't want to put them on film. <laughs> yeah, the building's for sale. Who the hell wants to buy this and do what with it? Well, I suppose it has potential, but I'm just saying. Nice stonework. I don't know what that was too. You guys that used to work here, drop us some comments below. Share your memories. Now I have one. I used to be a paper boy. Ooh, look, look what they got here. Shit. These are the these are the letters that were on that wall. It used to be up on that wall over there. These are the original letters. Boy, I'd sure like to have one. I don't want to steal in broad daylight. I'd just like to have one for a keepsake, for a memento. That's a piece of history of Beaver County. Wow. Uh, there's nothing in there to see except my ugly face. It's uh, They got stuff over the windows. But just, you can, man, this thing, this place is so old. Now, this looks like a recent paint job, but... Well, I can give you a little bit of history, not this building, but I can give you history of the newspaper. It was originally called the Beaver Minerva. That was first published in 1807. And that was generally to be the consensus among local historians to be the first newspaper in Beaver County. And that's going back in time because 1807, man, you got to consider here in Beaver, it was incorporated in 1792, but it was not 
made into an official borough until 1802. 1792, 1802, 1807. That's before the War of 1812. It's pretty substantial. Then it was called the Beaver Times. That was founded by Michael Whalen. And it was published from 1851 to 1895. But then that name got changed to the Beaver Argus. And that became the uh, change to the Daily Times. And that ran from 1909 to 1946. So again, that's a very long time period. In 1946, it was sold to a gentleman named S.W. Calkins. And he combined it in his 19, with his 1943 acquisition, which was the Aliquippa Gazette. Yes, Aliquippa had its own newspaper too. Quite a few of the towns did actually. And then the paper became known as the Beaver Valley Times until 1957. So when you look on the Google website of newspapers, you'll see the Beaver Valley Times from that era. It's not called the Beaver County Times yet. So that's confusing because when I do research, I have inadvertently done that where I look at the Beaver Valley Times when I should be looking at the Beaver County Times and vice versa. It's kind of weird. But then after that, I became the Beaver County Times after another acquisition, which was called the Ambridge Daily Citizen. That was in 1979. The Times purchased the last remaining competing daily newspaper in the county, which was the News Tribune of Beaver Falls. Then in April 1997, the paper switched from an evening print to a morning. Since 2017, the Beaver County Times has experienced a huge all-time low in readership. And I think we know why. And recently, it was just announced that the Times is no longer to be going to be, I think, a physical newspaper. Instead, it's going digital. So it's in decline. And this hasn't happened overnight, ladies and gentlemen. This has been, the Beaver County Times has been dying a slow death for years. It, it really has. It's, it's, it's not something that you want to uh, <laughs> consider reading anymore. It's, it's really a liberal news rag. And, I, you know, that's fine if it's liberal. I don't care. But, I mean, it's just so one-sided. If it was total right wing, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't like it neither. It used to be fair and balanced. And like I said, I, th my first job was a, a being a paper boy in Aliquippa. And this is how it worked, okay? When you got hired, they told you, this is your route. This is how many people you have. This is what you should collect per customer, okay? And my bill was routed off to, I think, like 240, 250 bucks every two weeks. They, the Times here, wanted $180 of that. I had to pay them $180 every two weeks. What was left over was mine. It usually averaged, it fluctuated, but it averaged from 65 to 70 bucks every two weeks. That was a lot of money for a 12-year-old kid. <laughs> I always had money. And it was great because I would let some people go and not collect them off, you know, for like two weeks. And then kind of the end of the month, it'd be like, oh, you haven't come here to pay the newspaper. I know you money. And I'd get like 10 bucks. Because I think the paper was like three, oh, what the hell was it? $3.30, I think, every two weeks, something like that. I had a pretty big route. It was nice. I used to get out of school, wouldn't even eat supper. I'd go right to the papers. You picked them up at Lawson's in Aliquippa. The paper, depending on where you lived, that's where they were put. They were in stacks. Now, Sundays was hell because you had to use a buggy and be, get up very early in the morning because the newspaper was heavy back then on Sundays. So I had to use a buggy from c &L Supermarket. That's what I did. I used a buggy. And uh, yeah, that was, that was how I got money. And then when every time, I always, whenever I needed money, I would just go collect off of somebody because somebody owed me money, you know. And that was a good incentive. Those days are gone. Kids can't even make nothing anymore. They can't make no money. Ooh, look, this has been vandalized. Wow. Oh my. Looky over here. Oh, look at that. Wow, just look at that. I'm gonna put my camera in here so you guys can see. Well, that's quite interesting. This place is really starting to get vandalized. Well, I'm gonna end the video here because my memory card's running low and I'm gonna make another video and I'll see you in the next round. Have a great day, guys.